Hey guys, welcome to my channel or to my Instagram because I'm debating to put it on Instagram as well. Uh, I'm feeling creative today. Well, to be honest, I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I just put it off. So I get this collagen um, peptide thing to put in my coffee every day. And it comes in a really nice sturdy plastic. And um, I've thought about making a planner with it, but then I did it. And today I feel like doing it. So I've made a hole and I got this really nice nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is awesome. So I'm going to wrap this around and turn it into a pot. Um, sorry, I kicked the thing. Um, you can use E6000 or you can use hot glue. I'm debating which one I'm going to use because I don't know if I'm going to run out of hot glue. I have glue somewhere, but I don't feel like looking for it because I want to do this right now. You know how when you feel like doing something right this minute? I almost didn't record it because I was being lazy and I didn't want to set up my tripod. But I said, no, I have to. So I did it. So um, you can... If you want, you can paint this and just do it any any way you want. Paint the bottom a certain color and maybe just wrap the rope here and there you go. Or you can wrap the whole thing. Also, the rope, you can split the rope. Um, if you want a thinner looking look, if this is too chunky, you know, for you, you can just go ahead and unravel the rope and make it actually stretch more, I guess. So I'm just going to start by... I'm going to do the hot glue because the hot glue is quicker. And, okay, so this would not be good for outside because if it gets rained on, the rope is going to get moldy and it's going to look ugly unless you maybe um, protect it with some type of something. I don't know what. Something to make it waterproof, I guess, or water resistant for the water not to stick. Hey, guys, I had to stop because my glue gun was not hot enough, and that's why... It was difficult. So I'm just gluing the end here so it doesn't continue to unravel. Oh yeah, now it's hot because I can't barely touch it with my fingers. This is not working. Hold on. amount of glue for that first part right there. You don't have to glue the whole thing like in every just do little sections if you want I'm doing it like this because I don't know if I have enough glue sticks because I don't know where I put them I put them away so well I can't find them Here goes my paper.
to keep it tight in between the lines. If you didn't paint it, because then you'll be able to see that. If you paint it, I guess it's not a big deal. So this is the pot all done. I think it came out super cute. Um, it didn't go all the way down, but that's not a big deal because actually when you water, you don't want this rope touching the water because then it'll absorb it. So, yep, here it is all done. Uh, this is the, the jar, what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like now with some Dollar Tree rope. It's super cute. Guys, this is where I'm going to place the pot. I told you guys that I was making the pot and it was not going to be outdoors. I'm also experimenting with this euphorbia to see how it grows. It is a cutting, so I did place some root hormone in there. Um, yeah, and I'm excited to see how it grows inside. And this is the table that my husband picked up from the trash. I really, really think it came out super cute with um, just me sanding it down, staining it, and then doing a whitewash over it very lightly. And yeah, and then I went to the Google and picked up some really cute little plates just because um, I don't want the humidity of the pots to damage um, the table, because it will. Let's say I water this and I place it somewhere, let it drip out, and it there's it's no longer dripping, but um, it will still cause damage to your wood because there's humidity inside the pot and there's a hole in the pot, so it's gonna cause damage. So that's why I got these plates, um, just to keep them there for when I water, I don't have to worry about it damaging the table. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. You guys have a blessed day. Bye, guys.